This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is gonna keep coming for you. You ready? For this? Never. Oh, stop! Wait, wait, wait! Guys, I'm Judy Solis of Black Tree TV. Nice to meet you yeah. both. Truly the Thank you so much for joining me. Now, I'll start with Jasmine. Um, in the film, you were able to provide, <laughs> sorry, you were able to provide feedback and be a part of the process for your character. What did you decide to include that represented you? Well, when I was cast, Mindy was already written as a queer woman of color but I was invited to bring my full self to the role all of us were. So my, my feedback had more to do with making scenes that were already written and already great even better, giving more specificity, little details in dialogue or little details in, in moments that would bring her fully to life, life um, even better than they were already written. Mason, is he, is he there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, you were very young. I think you were just born when the That's original right. Scream movie came out. Did you understand going into this how big of a deal that was? Oh, of course. I mean, after watching the movie at one month old, I think it followed me through into my adult life. Watched it again when I was a little older, about 13, 14. And it quickly became my favorite horror franchise, following uh, each installment and watching it as I got older, finally being a part of the... Uh, newest installment, I feel a sense of um, humbleness. I feel grateful to even uh, get to uh, speak on something as uh, monumental as the Scream franchise. So. How did it feel for either of you to work with these legacy characters and to have to be part of the new generation where you're actually introducing it to a new audience, but still an older audience as well? You guys want to feel this one? Yeah. Oh, it was quite an honor. Truly a huge honor. Very humbling to be invited in. And Nev and Courtney and David and Marley, so kind, so welcoming, really showed us the ropes and um, and invited us to have fun with them. You want to throw anything in there? I mean, talk about meeting your heroes and actually getting a remarkable experience from it. And not only were they kind and courteous, um, they were also incredibly insightful. I felt as if I was in acting class every day, just listening or watching. And uh, all you do is just hope that you can take something and apply it to your own performance in the, in the long run. Are you both horror buffs? And if so, what was your favorite movie? And it can't be Scream. <laughs> I, I'm certainly a horror buff. I'd say my uh, favorite uh, scary movie was um, uh, The Shining, the 70s. And Jasmine, That's you know, a good one. My favorite scary movie is Jack Frost. <laughs> Jack Frost, nice. Now, if you could take anything from the scream movie, what was your favorite moment during filming? Well, there's a line I really love. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Mason? Uh, I will take with me forever the memories made both on and off set with a family of filmmakers and actors and crew members that I respect, love, and appreciate more than I could ever put into words, even though I just technically did. So, <laughs> incredibly great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. It was lovely meeting both of you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you as well. Thank you.